Welcome to RTC TV4. We are here at Caston High School with the Rossville Hornets versus the Caston Comets for an exciting wrestling match today. Um, looks like the matches are going to be pretty good. We got some forfeits considering since Caston's team is smaller in size. Rossville looks to have every weight class filled except for their 113. Team looks pretty good. Has has what looks to be a couple of state qualifiers. I'm not entirely sure, but Looks to be like an exciting match, so stay tuned. And actually, that stay tuned was pretty good because Scout will probably cut it there, put it in a commercial break. So. I have got the names here for the starting with Rossville. 106, Bryce Longnecker. 120, Tyler Miller. 126, Brian Ayala. 132, Brandon Tucker. 138, Adrian Gomez. 145, Isaiah Kingry. 152, Colton Ford. 160, Jacob Butcher. 170, Bryce Lawrence. 182, Dave Hopkins. 195, Jason Stevens, 120, Patrick Wolf, and their heavyweight, Tim Beckett. Now, for the casting comments, we have 120, Destiny McDaniel, 126, James Kyle, 132, Lonnie Nice, um, 152, Aiden Sarver, 160, Caleb Conrad, and their heavyweight is Sam Duv Duvall. Now, Kicking off the match is 152's Colton Ford, freshman, and Aiden Sarver, sophomore. See how it goes. Reason the word didn't come out of my mouth, and I was like, Aiden, sorry. And we are off with the first match of the season. Ref getting ready to start them out. Both have shaken hands, and here we go. Aiden Sarver looks to be fighting for the wrist control. Goes in for a shot. Nope. In for the double leg. Rossville on him. Aiden scrambling. Rossville hanging in there. Attempting to get the single leg. And two point takedown for Rossville. Both have gone out of the ring. Back at neutral. Aiden Sarver in referee's position for the Comets. Rossville's Colton Ford will be on top for the takedown. Rossville's Colton Ford with the breakdown onto Kasten's Aiden Sarver. Kasten's Aiden Sarver has moved out of the ring back at referee's position. Kasten's Aiden Sarver starting at bottom again. Kasten's Aiden Sarver attempting to move. Scrambling. Moving. Rossville has tight hold. 
and out of the ring once again. Both will be starting. Not sure which position they are in yet, but we'll inform as soon as I find out. Aiden Sarver back into referee's position. Looks like the Ross, Rossville's Colton Ford will be on top once again. Aiden Sarver looking to scramble. Colton Ford tight lock on him. Tempting for the breakdown. Looks like he is in the means to put in a half. Kasten's Aiden Sarver scrambling to get out of the ring as time winds down. Out of the ring once again. Going back to the center for looks like referee's position. One escape for Aiden Sarver. Back at neutral position, my mistake. And they're both looking for the takedown as time winds down into about 30 seconds. Both at a stalemate looks to be, hanging just outside the ring, but not enough to call it out. And back to the center they go. Aiden Sarver with two points, Rossville Holmes Court and Ford with five. Aiden Sarver with the leg, looks to try to take down, hopped out of the ring. Back to the center. Not sure what position they will be in. Looks to be neutral. Aiden Sarver shoots for the double leg. Looks to be getting it. Turned out of the ring, but still not enough. He's got the single leg and pushed out. Red called for unnecessary, or my mistake, Hornets called for unnecessary roughness. One point to Aiden Sarver. Aiden Sarver putting in the double leg, but just not enough time. Next round will begin here in a minute. Aiden Sarver with three points. Rossville Hornets, Colton Ford with five. Colton Ford now in referee's position. Aiden Sarver on top. Aiden Sarver looking for the takedown. Finds a leg. Colton Ford hops out. Both are heading back to the center. Rossville's Colton Ford is back in referee's position with Aiden Sarver for the cast comments on top. Colton Ford with what looks like a reversal for two points has Aiden flat on the ground and pin for Rossville Hornets, Colton Ford. And the match, final score for Rossville, seven, cast and three for the pin. Next match will begin at 160 with Not quite sure yet. Frick, they have like three 160s. I don't know who it is. Um, Rossville's 160 in neutral position against Caston's 160, Caleb Conrad. Both are in lock ties. Caleb Conrad shoots for the shot, gets a leg. Rossville's 160, looking for the sprawl. Now it has a takedown, 4-2 points. Trying to put in the, ca the cradle is Rossville's 160. Looking for it, but can't quite find it. Hip, hip. 
Crossville's 160, Jacob Butcher. Attempting for the cradle. The cast in comments, 160, Caleb Conrad is was almost overturned into the cradle, but still remains propped. Jacob Butcher with the attempt on both legs. Cast in comments, Caleb is in for the what looks to be almost a reversal, but can't quite turn it around with this double leg for Jacob Butcher and Caleb Conrad is fighting for his leg. Looks to be a tilt, maybe a stack. Rossville's Jacob Butcher with what looks to be almost a takedown. Trying to overturn with a half. Caleb Conrad standing. Caleb Conrad in a cradle. Looks to be rolling out, but can't quite make it as the match winds down and done. Final score of that part of the match was four. Rossville, zero. Caston. Next match will begin in a few seconds between Caston's Caleb Conrad and Rossville's Jacob Butcher. <coughs> Caleb Conrad, shooting for the single leg, has gotten a takedown for two points. Looks to be attempting for the power half, but Jacob Butcher locked up, won't let it in. Caston's Caleb Conrad is rapidly trying. Jacob Butcher attempting the roll but couldn't get it, has now put himself in the position for a power half to be run by Caleb. Trying to roll again, props his foot. With the all near reversal, Caleb Conrad fighting to keep him down. Getting it, getting it, looking for the half. Jacob Butcher propping his foot, looking to not get turned in. Near reversal, Caleb Conrad must hang on. Oh, and out of the circle. Back at neutral position maybe, or referees, not sure yet. Looks like neutral position. Both in ties, double leg for Jacob Butcher. Can't quite put in the points. Caston's Caleb Conrad fighting to, make, to keep his bridge. As the match is winding down, Caleb Conrad has been pinned. Final score of that match, Rossville seven, Caston two with the pin for Rossville. Next weight class, 170, forfeit. Next weight class, 182, also a forfeit for Rossville. One ninety five looks to be another forfeit for Rossville. Due to Caston's lack of wrestlers, Rossville has been has so far taken three forfeits for points against Caston. Next weight class looks to be heavyweight at 285. Tim Beckett for Rotspill. Sophomore against heavyweight 285. Sam Duvall, sophomore for Caston. Oh, my mistake. That was their 220. 
Now, yes, Tim Beckett for Caston, or er, Rossville, and Sam Duvall for Caston. Heavyweight match. Now, collar ties looking for both Sam and Tim. Tim backs out. Sam looks to be set, attempting to set up the shot. Looking for collar ties. Looking for collar ties. Sam Duvall and Tim. Tim Beckett breaking the ties. Sam Duvall attempting to match up for Kasten. Tim Beckett with the collar ties on Sam Duvall. Sam working to get out of them and reverses the collar ties, but broken. Sam Duvall with the shot, looks to setting up a double leg, try attempting to put in the half, running on Tim Beckett. Sam putting in the half, has, has so far kept his opponent down. The ref is waving, he's looking to see if it's gonna be a pin, attempting to sink the half. Pin for Kasten, Sam Duvall. Final score, two, Caston, zero, Hornets. Pin for Sam Duvall in first match. Rossville taking a forfeit, what looks like for 106. Rossville taking another forfeit for what looks like weight class. Nope, nope, my mistake. Rossville's Tyler Miller for 120 will be wrestling Caston's Destiny McDaniel. Double leg, massive double leg by Rossville's Tyler Miller looking to run the half on Caston's Destiny McDaniel. Destiny tr trying to scramble as much as possible, being thrown around. Tyler Miller attempting to set her back down. Destiny with the escape. One point for Destiny and two for Tyler. Both locked up in collar ties, looking for shots. Destiny locked up, thrown away. Goes for the shot. Tyler Miller looks to be setting it up with a collar tie start. Locking up, both of them. Destiny getting the leg. Destiny with the single leg, trip, two points for Destiny. Looking to put in a half, maybe. Tyler Miller standing, and match has been called because you can't stand up with someone else on your back. Both will restart in the middle and Tyler Miller will be in referee's position, it looks like, with. Destiny McDaniel on top. Destiny McDaniel getting the single leg. Looking for the trip, can't quite get it. The score now is 3-3.
Destiny McDaniel with the collar tied. Tyler Miller looking for the leg. As time is winding down in 10 seconds. The pen and has Destiny near turned on her back. Score is now 5-3. Match has ended. Score still 5 Rossville. 3 Caston. Looking to decide which position. Destiny McDaniel um, looks to be in referee's position. And Tyler Miller will be on top. Keston's Destiny McDaniel looking to sit out to escape the hold she is in. Tyler Miller looking for the cradle, can't quite get it. Destiny propped leg preventing him. She has rolled him over to what looks like somewhat of a half, putting him in a backwards cradle, keeping him down. Oh, he has reversed it. Tyler Miller, Destiny, trying to set him back. Pin for Destiny McDaniel against Tyler Miller from Rossville. Tyler Miller has lost. Score was 5-5. Pin by Destiny McDaniel for casting comments. Next match, 126. Will be... Brian A. Ayla against Caston's James Kyle. Rossville's Brian A. Ayla looking for the collar ties to set up a shot. Sprawl by James. Brian down. James locked. James looking th for the reversal, throwing him into a power half. Brian attempting to escape. James looking for the breakdown. Slams down Brian. Brian trying frantically to escape has flipped James over. James has recovered back both near the edge of the circle. James attempting to flip. Brian Ayala with two points matched to James's two points. Scores even. 2-2. James getting out of his takedown with one escape point added. Score 3-2. Caston. Moved out of the circle, moving back to the center. Looks like it will be in neutral position. Brian looking for the shot as locked up on James Kyle from Caston. James Kyle looking to run the half, has sunk it in, trying to pin him down. Ref looking for a pin, but both shoulders for Brian are not on the ground just yet. Almost, Brian squirming somewhat free, has locked up a pretty nice bridge to keep himself away. Both shoulders are not on the ground yet. Looking for it, looking for it. The ref is seeing James attempting to pin. Has Brian in a tough position. Pin for James Kyle against Brian Ayala from Rossville. Score five for Caston, two for Brian Ayala from Rossville. Caston wins by pin. Next match seems to be 132, Brandon Tucker against Caston's 132, Lonnie Nice. Rossville's 132, Brandon Tucker looking to set up the shot. Oh. 
contestants. Lonnie Nice with the leg. Attempting to set him in what looks like a half, but not entirely sure yet. Kasten's Lonnie Nice with two point takedown has been added. Brandon Tucker with a leg has to let it go due to Bronnie, Lonnie's sprawl. Lonnie attempting to lean. Lock hands, technical violation for Kasten. One point added to Brandon Tucker. Looks to be restart at referee's position for Rossville's Brandon Tucker on bottom and Kasten's Lonnie Nice on top. Lonnie Nice looking for the takedown. Seems to have gotten a half set up somewhat. Hasn't quite run it yet. Looks to be his main intention has been thrown onto his back by Brandon Tucker from Rossville. Bridging is Lonnie Nice to turn out. Lonnie Nice turning out as hard as he can to escape the pin of Brandon Tucker. Brandon Tucker frantically trying to keep Lonnie down as Lonnie is turning away as the clock winds down from 30 seconds. Three near fall for Brandon Tucker makes the score 6-2 for Rossville. Rossville is Brandon Tucker frantically trying to turn Lonnie Nice from Kasten over. Both have gone out of the circle, main circle, and will go back to the center to restart. Kasten's Lonnie Nice in referee's position with Rossville's Brandon Tucker on top. Lonnie Nice with the attempting to escape has nearly made it but with a ankle grab by Brandon Tucker taking him out of it. Kasten's Lonnie Nice with what looks like somewhat of a reversal has survived the second period. The score is now 3-6, Rossville. And Lonnie Nice will now be in referee's position with Rossville's Brandon Tucker on top. Rossville's Brandon Tucker with grabbing the double leg. Can't quite turn him over due to Lonnie grabbing his leg as well. Brandon Tucker trying to turn. Lonnie Nice with the prop. Looks, looks to trying to put in a cradle. Plan failed. Lonnie Nice will attempt the breakdown on Brandon Tucker. Illegal full Nelson called on Lonnie Nice. One point added to Brandon Tucker. The score is now five to seven. Rossville. How am I doing? Keston's Lonnie Nice on top of Brandon Tucker in referee's position has Hooking him down to the ground, attempting to run a half. Gets the leg, has put in a cradle, has driven Brandon Tucker over to his back. Brandon Tucker with an impressive bridge has kept himself out. Looks to be trying to get out of the ring. Can't, ref is looking for both shoulders down. Both have gone out of the ring. Three, back point near fall added to Kasten's Lonnie Nice's score to make the score 8 7 Kasten. Both have met back into the center with tight, or excuse me, 
Brandon Tucker on bottom in referee's position. And Lonnie Nice on top. Lonnie Nice has gotten both legs and is attempting to turn. Lonnie Nice looking to set up the half. Power half, maybe. Has turned Brandon Tucker over and is on, Brandon Tucker is now on his back looking to escape ref, looking for his shoulder. But Brandon Tucker's bridge has kept him alive so far. Lonnie Nice looking to turn him over some more, but Brandon Tucker's bridge is immense. Lonnie Nice keeping Brandon Tucker on the ground. Pin for Lonnie Nice. Beating Rossville's Brandon Tucker. Final score, 8-7. Pin for Caston. Caston's Lonnie Nice has beaten Brandon Tucker. Next match looks to be 145, Isaiah Kingry. Caston not having a 145. Rossville will take the forfeit for team points. Oh, my mistake. Adrian Gomez for the 138 has was the last one to take the point. Isaiah Kingry was the 145 that you just saw exiting the field before the players, or the mat, <laughs> before the players lined up to shake hands. Both teams did an excellent job in this match. Rossville over Caston. <laughs> 